Now back to those never before seen photos of the gang shootout on the streets of downtown Sacramento. CBS 13's Madison Keevy is joining us now. And Madison, you've read through that 40 plus page charging document released today. What are we learning at this point? Right, a lot of information. You know, no charges filed for the three men shot a month ago today that died. And based on court documents, those men were either involved in the shootout or appeared to be armed. Documents tell us that one of those, Sergio Harris, even had gunshot residue on his hands. All participants in that gun battle are responsible for the death of those innocent bystanders. This image was taken from a police observation device near 10th and K in downtown Sacramento. 70 to 80 people are gathered near Sheriff Jewelers three minutes before the gang shootout began. Charged with murder today, Smiley and DeAndre Martin and Matula Payton. They're charged for three murders, Jontea Alexander, Melinda Davis, and Yamil Martinez, who investigators believe were innocent bystanders caught in the crossfire. This was a gun battle between rival gang members who came armed to this scene in downtown Sacramento. This image shared in court documents shows the Martin brothers and Joshua Hoy Lucchesi, one of the people killed, outside a nightclub on K Street. The same documents show the three men were likely already armed. In another image taken by a police observation device, Matula Payton and DeVazier Turner, another person killed that night. They're shown together. The documents say they were friendly. Nearly every move of the known gang members tracked by surveillance cameras, even down to the moment a gun is fired. Surveillance video captured a muzzle flash in front of Turner's chest. Court documents show multiple flashes shot from where Turner and Sergio Harris, one of the people killed, stood. An image from video taken seconds later shows another muzzle flash, likely from an automatic weapon investigators believe was fired by Smiley Martin. The labels included in the court filing show exactly where the Martin brothers and Hoy Lucchesi stood as the shootout began. These muzzle flashes, moments when a gun is fired, caught on camera. This one court documents say by DeAndre Martin towards the direction of Harris and Turner. People in the area of the gun battle hide for cover behind trash cans or lay flat in the street. By 2.01 in the morning, Peyton is caught running towards J Street, firing back towards the chaos while he ran away from it and still tonight hasn't been found. All participants in this incident, the surviving ones, the Martin brothers and Matula Peyton are charged with all of the deaths of those innocent bystanders. Now, the Martin brothers will be back in court at the end of this month, though, facing a very different set of charges now with murder than they were last week. Their lawyers told us at the time that they were waiting on evidence. Much of that we saw outlined in those documents, by the way, Sacramento police say that they're working around the clock to search for a Peyton and bring him into custody as well. Yeah, those cameras really captured a lot of information. All right, Madison, thank you.